Praise the Lord, everybody. Welcome to the Pleasant Hill Missionary Baptist Church, 1636 North Masters. Here in the wonderful Pleasant Grove area, our pastor, the Reverend Keenan L. Tennyson. This is our morning worship experience where we've come to give God glory, honor, and praise. Thank God for you who are in the building. Thank God for those who are able to connect with us online. God, we give you glory, honor, and praise. This is the day that you have made. You have allowed us to rejoice and be glad in it. God, we just pray that all that we say and do will bring nothing but glory, honor, and praise to your holy and righteous name. You are the worthy one today, God. Be glorified as we, your people, are edified in Jesus' name. Come on, those who agreed, shout it, amen.
sacrifice on the cross. Glory to God. You may be seated if you can as Reverend McIntosh leads us in the communion service. Amen. Yeah. Came to lift him up. Said no other reason but to lift him up. No time to lose. No time to waste. Come on. Came to lift him up. 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 No time to lose. No time to waste. No, my blessing is in my praise. It's in. It's in.
All praises to the living and loving God, to Jesus Christ, who is my Savior, my Lord, and my Redeemer, and to the Holy Spirit, who keeps me each and every day of my life. Honor, love, adoration, and appreciation to my pastor, to my brother in the gospel, Reverend Barnett, to all of the saints present in the house of the Lord today. It was on that last evening that Christ took bread and lifted it up unto his father and gave thanks. And then he gave it unto his disciples and said, take, eat ye all of it. This is my body, which is broken for you. Shall we eat together? And also in that same manner, he took the cup and lifted it also unto his father and gave thanks. And then he gave it unto his disciples and said, this is my blood, which is shed for the remission of all of your sins. Drink ye all of it. Shall we drink together? Christ said, as often as you do this, you do show that you remember the great cost that I prayed, I paid to set you free. And because we are free today, we can praise the living and loving God. Because he is alive. And that's reason enough to lift him up to tell a dying world about a living and loving God. A God that looks beyond our faults and still meets our every need. A God not of a second chance, but of another chance. Glory to God, he didn't stop at two. I'm glad about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bless his name today. Let us go to God in prayer. Our Father, our God in heaven, we come humbly bowed before you today. Thanking you, O gracious God, for another opportunity to gather in your house. We thank you, O gracious God, for your Holy Spirit today that has filled this place, O gracious Master. Thank you, Father. That in spite of all we've been through all week long, oh gracious yeah, God, yeah. you're still keeping us. And we bless your name today, Father. We thank you, Father, for healing in the sanctuary. We thank you, oh gracious God, that you continue to bind up brokenness. Thank you for restoring the saints, oh gracious God. Thank you, loving God, for giving us peace in the midst of our storms, Father. Thank you when friends and family have walked away and turned their back. Lord God, you are still right there. And we thank you, O oh gracious God, for all of your goodness, for all of your loving kindness. Loving God, we say thank you today for keeping us from seen and unseen danger. Thank you, loving God, that when Satan desired to destroy us, you, O oh gracious master, kept us. You protected us, loving Father. Thank you for provision today. Thank you, O oh gracious God, that you caused the sun to shine through the clouds this morning. Lord God, it's a little chilly, but my spirit is warm. And we've come to say thank you today. Thank you, Father. Thank you, loving God. Thank you that my pastor not living like he used to. Thank you, O oh gracious you. God, for his spirit, for his commitment. Thank you for his love, O oh gracious God. Thank you that every now and then when I'm lonely, you send him to check on me. Bless your name for my shepherd today, O oh gracious God. Glory to you, Father. And then, loving God, I look forward to a word today, a word that will burn in this house today. A word that you've given him, Father. 
but a word of gracious God that you will allow to go forward in this house today. Magnify yourself, Father. Speak, O oh gracious God, as only you can. Move throughout the house today, Father, and save, gracious God, save to your glory. But please let it be for our good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Righteous God, please continue to strengthen the weak, bind up brokenness, heal the sick, oh gracious God. Please, Father, continue to move in this house and do it, oh gracious God. Do it, Father, to your glory. But please let it be for our good. And we'll be ever so careful to give you all the praise all the glory, all the honor, because you, oh gracious God, you and you alone, Lord, you're worthy today. Hallelujah, yeah, you're worthy today. And we thank you in the righteous and holy name of Jesus the Christ. Amen and thank you, Father.
Lord, we serve an excellent God. Come on, give God praise in the house. Come on, let's separate the atmosphere for the word of God. How many know he's worthy of the glory? Worthy of the honor. Worthy of the praise. How many know he's worthy in the house? Come on, give him glory in the house today. Come on, give him glory in the house today. Glory, 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 glory. Amen. Oh, Lord, how excellent is your name. We bring this series to a close today. Steps to greatness. It's one, it's, it's one more word we got to deal with. Come on. One more. This that I promise you, when we get this one, we're gonna be done. We got one more word to deal Come with. On. One more word to deal. Yes, this is the one. All right. It's gonna take you over the top. You gonna quit looking at these folk crazy? Quit, you know. You gonna quit losing your mind over these crazy people. It's in the text, man. It is in the text. It's in there. Is that the right character? Yep, there it yeah. is. Here it comes, right there. Mm -hmm. Genesis chapter 37, verse 29 through 36. Come on. Mm -hmm. Later, Reuben came back and went to the cistern. No, Joseph. He ripped his clothes in despair. Besides himself, he went to his brothers. The boy's gone. Oh, I'm reading out the message Bible, okay? What am I going to do? They took Joseph's coat, butchered a goat, All right. and dipped the coat in the blood. They took the fancy coat back to their father and said, we found this. Look it over. Do you think this is your son's coat? Remember that. He recognized it at once. My son's coat. A wild animal had eaten him. Joseph torn limb from limb. Mm -hmm. Remember that. Jacob tore his clothes in grief, dressed in rough burlap, and mourned his son a long, long time. Yeah. His sons and daughters tried to comfort him, but he refused their comfort. He said, I'll go to the grave mourning my son. Oh, how his father wept for him. Yeah, yeah. In Egypt, the, uh, the Midianites sold Joseph the potter from one of Pharaoh's official manager of his house. So let's go back up. Let's go back up. Let's go back Come up. On. Let's go back up. Verse 31, 32. They took Joseph's coat, butchered a goat. And dipped cold in blood. <laughs> Number two, they took the fancy coat back to their father and said, We found this. Oh, wow. Look it over. Do you think this is your son's coat? <sighs> Today I want to talk about steps to great. Deception. Oh, oh, we, man. Oh, we. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you, you. Steps to greatness. How do we get great? You got to have these four words. Well. You got to have hatred and haters. My God. 
quit, quit losing your mind when stuff happens. Haters are necessary. You got to have them people to hate you to get you to where you're supposed to be. Then you got to have envy and malice. Then you got to have violence because violence comes from a heart that festers hatred and malice. Violence is the action of them two words manifesting. Right. Now we have to deal with the deception. Mm -hmm. I looked at this. The word deception is a false impression made to deceive or cheat. Another one says, the act of causing someone to accept as true or valid what is false and invalid. Come on! Some of you right now have been deceived and you don't even know. No, you don't. You, they, they done made you believe a lie. You, you ain't nobody. You ain't going to be nobody. You, you can't nothing good come out of plug and grow. You, you, you bought that lie. You, you, you bought that lie. Now, 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 watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. I was looking at this, though. This thing here, though. Come on. It said the three elements of deception. The sender must know the information is false. He know he was lying. Well, you see that thing? The sender, not you. The sender has to know it's fucked. That's why they called you. Well, when they dialed your number, they knew they were lying. My God. Yeah. Number two. The, the sender must be transmitting the information on purpose. Now, I know it's a lie, but I'm telling you this on purpose. Wow. My God. You deceiver, you. You know you lying and you doing it on purpose. Because I'm here to deceive. I don't want you to see that person as who they really are. I need you to I need you to believe the lie I'm telling you. Right. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, here it comes. The sender must be attempting to make the receiver believe the information. <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm going to be so convincing, baby, that you're going to believe. Nah, 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 boo boo. I'm going to make you believe this lie. Wow. I'm going to give you these again since you're taking those. Number one. <laughs> <laughs> the sender must know the information is false. Yeah, do it again. They know they lying. Yeah. Sure, ain't that something. Number two. The sender must be transmitting the information on purpose. On purpose. There's a purpose for me telling you this. Yeah. Right. I got a reason for lying to you. And number three, the sender must be attempting to make the receiver believe the information. You tell it in such a way that they believe it. Look at the proof. It's in the text. I'm going to put it out in just a minute. Come on. These are the three things that these are the elements of deception. Deception comes from the root word to deceive. The word deceive is used 27 times in the Bible. All right. Deceive. Deceive duh, is used 34 times. Deceiver is used five times. Deceivers is used three times. And deceiveth for you King James versions. <laughs> well, I come down. It's used six times. Here's what's the trip about the word deception. 
Uh oh. It normally comes from in house family. Uh, and somebody close to these the brothers. I told you these the brothers. These, these are the soup. These are the brothers. Reuben came back and said, "Wait a minute. Where, where, where's Joseph? There ain't no Joseph here. Ain't no Joseph here. Ain't no, hey, wait. Where the boy at? Oh, we th- we sold him. But you remember when they talked about that? I already told them. Now we're gonna have to find a way to come and tell daddy. It's already premeditated." But here's the catch. You ready for this, Mimi? Well, here's what the deal is. Jacob had the seed. Uh Uh-oh. So, so daddy, you finna eat what, you finna reap what you sow. And that that word called karma is coming back around. Ah. You mad when well, you wonder why your house messed up because you talking about your own mom and daddy. That blood flow in there. It's in there. It's in there. You just like your mom and daddy. You're lying. You liar, you. It's in there. I, 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 you, you know what? But all this is needed for you to be great. Right. Amen. You, you sitting there looking all crazy. Oh, God, what's wrong? He says, part of it. I didn't create it. I don't even like it, but I'm going to use it. Ugh. God said, I already ordained you to be great. I already ordained you to be great. Satan ain't going to let you just walk into this greatness. Oh, y'all better hear me. Satan ain't going to let you just be great. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to mess you up. So he thinks. Well, y'all be looking at me crazy. Y'all be sitting here looking all crazy because life happens. See, if God wasn't God, life couldn't life. Do you remember when the scripture say what the devil meant for the evil? God going to turn around for good. Do, do you remember the scripture in, in the Romans 8? In fact, we know all things work. To, yeah, see, y'all nodding on this. Oh, hey, y'all, hallelujah. But when it come on your doorstep, you act like you don't forgot the scripture. Here's what you got to understand in the text, in the Bible. Everybody that God used had an issue. So what makes you think you exempt from your issue? Everybody that God used had a problem. Everybody that God used fell short. That's why Christ came. Cause, 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 when you look at the Bible, Satan was in, in heaven. Lucifer was in heaven. He was fourth in command. He was over the choir. That's what I need to tell you. You need to watch out for these crazy choir directors. Hell, Satan is still loose. And you've been deceived to bother bother the truth, thinking you're going to sing your way into heaven. That that ain't going to get you. You mess around and lose your voice singing for him. Uh Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Some of you can't even sing no more because you got another leader. I don't care. I'm going to tell you what the Bible said. You don't lost your voice trying to impress him. Because ain't that what Satan said? You know what? Well, you sound all right. Luther said, you know what? Well, you can sing, but, but, but I'm trying to get God's position. If you sing for me, I'll let you lead that song and you can't even sing. Great Bible. Yeah, oh, you don't sing like that. He didn't give you that voice. Satan said, if you sing for me, well, I'm going to let you lead. Now, now hear me, 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 hear me. He, he, 
It works. Somebody say it works. These clouds was in heaven. And a third of them left with him. So, so don't sit in there like it don't happen to you. Yeah, you can be deceived. Some of you done fell off the cliff and you falling off the cliff with that clown. That clown had because you were deceived by the lies they told you to, on purpose. You bought it hook, line, and Somebody say hook line. You, you bought it. You got deceivers in here. Trying to tell you what the pastor don't know. What the pa You bought the lie. That's why you look crazy. Look at me all crazy. That's why you look like that, because you done bought the lie. And see, you picked that side, and now the truth don't came out. You don't know what to do. You stuck in the middle. Stay on the side of the foolishness because that's what you bought. Because them folk that, 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 that went with Satan, they can't come back. That's why you ain't got no power no more. I'm trying to tell you something. This is real. Deception is real. Oh, but I got good news for you. While the boys had deceived the daddy, the text says he grieved hard for nothing. You, you got the daddy grieving for a lie you told. Some of you can't come back because you bought the lie, and now you're realizing it's a lie. And them same people that told you that lie come around and try to fix it. It's going to be all right. Now, you want to... You're trying to comfort my grief, but I'm grieving from your lie. Damn it. You comforted me in the lie that you told me, and you know it was a lie. You know it was a lie. part the daddy didn't know because he took the proof. Yeah. You remember he said your, your job is to convince me that the lie is real. Yeah. They took the boy's coat. Yeah. Cut it up and killed the goat. Yeah. And put blood on it. Yeah. So see you can't comfort me because you gave me some evidence to believe your lie. Yeah. There are no words to comfort me. Some of you are stuck. You can't come back from the lie that was told to you on purpose. Why? No, I can't use you. That's a lie. I don't care how bad you know what God can't forgive you. That's a lie. Ain't no turning back. That's a lie. But Satan is always on his job. Because we can deceive. That's why they call him a deceiver. He don't want you to accept the truth, but his truth, and his truth ain't no more than a lie. That's why God said he hates false witnesses. That's why he said a lie you won't tell. You tell him you won't make it in with your lie. Look, 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 look at the text, y'all. Look at the text. They took the coat, butchered the coat. They took the coat. Butchered a goat and dipped the coat in the blood. They took the fancy coat back to their father and said, we found this. Look it over. Do you think this is your, we found it. See how they still lie? <laughs> you found it all right. <laughs> how you going to find something you took off of him? Lord, have mercy. You took his coat off of him, but I'm here to tell you, you're you taking his coat. Then stop the calling. Because God still did what he said he was going to do. Dude, so let, let, me, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. The lies don't stop you from being great. It don't stop God from making you what he created. Listen. 
Some of y'all are broke, bust, and disgusted. You're sitting here grieving because your mama said you wasn't going to be nothing. You're sitting here grieving because your daddy wasn't in your life. You're sitting here grieving because the job folded on you. You're sitting here grieving because your kids act like they don't understand. You're sitting here grieving because you was molested when you was a child. You're sitting here grieving because your daddy left you. You're sitting here. All the reasons why they deceived you, it had not stopped you from being what God said. I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been. He been laying me down back. He been laying me down back. He said, lay down, boy. I need to talk to you. You're moving around too much. My God. Let me put a little pain in this football. I need to tell you. I need to show you some stuff. You done almost started believing the lie. Because all my life, people said I wasn't going to be nothing. Ah. And it looked like because it ain't happening. Well, maybe they was right. No, they ain't there, damn not. Because there's too many people's lives changing because you breathe. And now they lying. Don't you believe that? Don't you believe that? Your life is in shambles because I need you to trust me. I need them to see that you ain't exempt from trouble. You ain't exempt from trial and error. All your life can fall apart, but it does not interrupt my plan. Because why daddy was grieving. The text said Joseph was moved. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh oh. You remember I told you last week that when they threw him in the pit, the cistern, right? They let us know that the Israelites was coming through on their way to Egypt. You miss what I'm saying? God sent a movement. Ah, He sent a group moving, sir, to get you to your destination. Ah. They didn't kill you like they wanted to. God wouldn't let them kill you. Don't they sound like David? Don't they sound like Jesus telling the devil, do what you want to do with Joseph, but you better not touch his. Y'all going to get this in a minute. Do what you want to do to her, to Contessa. Do what you want to do to uh, Karen. Do what you want to do to Mary, but you better not touch stage. So, no. Don't mess with them, but I, there's a line you better not cross. So here's the secret. Here's the secret. Write this down. Whoever controls the parameter is in control. Oh, I hope you get that. Whoever tells you where the line is, uh, but that's who's in control. So while the devil is doing his job, while the boys are doing their job, God said you can't cross the line. So here they go. Them boys say, kill him. Reuben said, now his brother. His brother said, kill him. Reuben said, oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. It's always somebody. It's always one. It's somebody say one. You don't need three. You don't need two. You just need one good one. One person in your corner for real, day, Don, Don will change your life. Right. All right, we ain't going to kill him. We go, you know what we're going to do? You know what we're going to do? That one said, don't kill him. Let's just do something different. Okay, we'll sell him. You, you know what? Yeah, we'll sell him. We'll, we'll, okay, good. good, good. We, we, we ain't going to kill him to this point. We're just going to sell him. And then guess who we're going to sell him to? We're going to sell him to the, to the Israelites because when you become a slave, they ain't letting you go. Uh-oh. So, so if we give him to the right hand, if we put them in the right hands, we'll never have to live this again. Uh-oh. If we put them in the right person's hands, they'll keep them out of the way. So when we go back and deceive Daddy, we got, oh. There's something that followed. He can't find the body, so he got to believe the lie. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. You remember in the text, Matt, when he said they, 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 they sacrificed the goat? See, God didn't forget his daddy. Because when, when Jacob was, 
was conniving uh, uh, Isaac out of the birthright of Ishmael. You remember that text? It said that they went and killed the goat. Uh oh. Come on! Since you use a goat, I'm going to use a goat. Uh oh. And that when I use the goat, I'm going to remind you of your life. Come on! You talk about somebody else's kids, so when I get you, I'm going to use your kids. Uh oh. You talk about somebody else's marriage when yours fall apart, I'm going to destroy your marriage because you had your mouth on somebody. Uh oh. It's too real over there. This, this word is getting mad. The, darn this word bad, man. I've been reading this word. I've been talking about, God, you bad. My God. You put your mouth on the preacher, you're going to leave. They're going to take you down too. Whoa. Shut up. Then God is fair. It rained on the just. Y'all act like y'all ain't reading that. So if you don't want it to, it's going to rain anyway, but you determine if you get a storm or a sprinkle. Come on. <laughs> Your action determines if you get a storm or a sprinkle. So if you throw in a storm, just know you're going to get a storm. You can't throw no storm and get a sprinkle. Amen. Let me go back to the Bible because y'all looking at me crazy. Let me, let me tell y'all what God said. So you ain't talking about the pastor make me see the pastor. The pastor make No, it ain't the pastor. Come on. It is in the text. It's in there. If you tear the page out your Bible, it's still in the text. So, so listen, <laughs> they took the Joseph's coat, butchered the goat, and dipped the coat in the blood. See, do you not know? They didn't have DNA back then. All they had was red blood. <laughs> that blood tells you what's really going on. When you don't want to be the dad, the blood says you is the dad. That thing of dang chicken, they call it the DNA. I don't care what he look like. When they get a little less blood, and they run it through the tent like they did me. I, that ain't my son. My mama said, he looks just like you. I said, I don't care. Well, on my 23rd birthday, I got the results. Open the letter, <laughs> and I find out the letter fell two pictures. Little old, ugly little kid, I said, ooh, he looks ugly. Little old, ugly little boy, look just like your dad. I said, ooh, he ugly. And they say, look like you. Dear sir, <laughs> I don't even like Jerry Springer. <laughs> Jerry can't say nothing until Dana say something. Dear sir. We are here to inform you that you are 99.9% the father. 23rd birthday, I got a, a letter proving that he mine. Hell, he had just like me. So, so, hear what I'm telling you. Ain't no more questioning. Cause of the blood. Oh. <laughs> Jacob say, shut up talking to me. You gave me his coat with blood on it. Uh -oh. I, can't, I can't unsee this. I got it as proof. This is what I mourn. And it was a lie. Now they sitting there looking. What's wrong with him? You know 
know what you did. You, you know what you did. You, you, you even know what you said. You didn't just say it, you sent proof. Right. You took his coat, dipped it in blood, killed a goat, and dipped it in blood. Here go an innocent goat dying. You see what happens when you lie? Innocent people get caught up. Innocent angels. See, y'all, them, them angels in heaven, all they want to do is sing the choir. That's all. They just want to sing, but they believe the lie bullet and left with Satan. You're supposed to be at home depressed. You're yeah. supposed to be at home depressed because you bought the lie. Some of you don't go to, y'all don't sit at home. Y'all come up in here. They don't even know why you can't pray. Because you bought the lie. You know, as we get ready for Easter, <laughs> we call it the Super Bowl. It's not. It's the playoffs. What come out of the playoffs? Championship. See, our championship. What do we do with them new folks that come here? See, don't you go, don't 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 you get in there and start dancing to perform <laughs> to put on a show because you don't you can't put that show on next week. Me, see, if you minister. You can minister at all times. Because when we send out the notion asking them to come back, what they going to get? Uh-oh. Don't bring that trash in here come dance in time, come sing in time. Because we don't bring the trash. We don't bring no trash when it's preaching time. We ought to, you know what we ought to do for the next two weeks? Come up here and clean up the church. Everybody, I, you know what? I won't come to the church. Go, go find your cone and clean it out. That trash that you hide that nobody know you hiding it. That trash that's right in front of you in that little that little canister that the that the envelope's supposed to be in your 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 greedy kids that you won't feed at home. It's amazing how they only eat at church. And they tell you what they gonna eat. Get them crumbs out them prunes. You know that's the seat you sit on. That's the that's the nastiest seat in the church because you got them untrained kids being nasty. My God. And here's the sad part. You nasty too because your mama didn't train you. You the one let them do it. So nasty begets nasty. And what the enemy does is use his filth to tell you, don't go there. Tell the unbeliever, oh, we don't need to go here. They nasty. Now nasty is everywhere. What happens when you clean your little spot? Go get your own. Go get your own seat cleaner, cause you the one wasted that coffee right there. She didn't clean the church. She can't clean your filth. What are we gonna do, church? What? What are we going to give the new, the person that says, you know what? Look at here, look at here, look at here. They, 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 it messed me up. They don't go to church, but they come this day. We don't need to talk about that. We ought to be rejoicing that they're here. What, what are we going to do to keep them? Because we can't grow the church with you because you won't do nothing. See, see, we, 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 we need a million dollars a year. We need another 150 people. Because you tapped out. We can't expect no more of you because you ain't giving what we're supposed to expect from you. See, we've been deceived thinking this is the group. Some of y'all ain't finna see the next phase. Well, you'll get to see it from the outside. You don't get to be a part of it because why? You've been deceived by people in here. Uh-oh.
It's too real. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. You know what? Because God don't need nobody. He don't even need me. <laughs> you can put your mouth on me all you want to. You don't stop nothing with your ugly set. Heavy on the ugly. Because you being ugly with that. I know your date. I don't tell nobody about you. I know you trash and I give you a hug. Hey, baby. She tried to laugh. We thought that crazy. Well, I said, hey. She said, you know what? You so right. Don't miss your blessing with your crazy daughter. Both of y'all crazy. Don't do that. Don't you take away from your blessing going back to your old way. Uh-oh. Listen. Listen. This free. Somebody say free. We was in class this morning, in my men's class, Brandon. We was in my men's class this morning. I'm still talking about deception. When, 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 when Peter denied Jesus, you remember that? You remember that? Somebody said, I remember that. He said, before the cock crow, you're going to deny me what? When he denied him three times, you know what? We were studying that one part of it, eh, Karen, said he, it, it was like he put his hands on his Bible and swore. I told you I don't know him. But you're missing the message. You finna miss it. You finna miss it. He did all that. Cock a doo doo doo. You know what he was telling them? You denied me, but you got a new day. You got some new grace today. You got some new grace today. And watch this. And he still didn't accept it. Somebody say didn't accept it. Because watch this, Don. When he found him, he found him back at the water fishing again. He said, You're not fishers of fish. I made you fishers of men. And any time we get deceived and accept the fact that we got deceived, we go back to our old way. We go back to what we know because we like familiar bondage. And God said, just because you erred, uh -oh. just because you're a deceiver, just because you missed the mark, does not change the call I placed on your life. Then get what he did, Brandon. Get what he did. Get what he did. Jesus said, hey, y'all. Peter said, that's Jesus. He heard with me again. I messed all the way up. He said, now, come on, sit down and eat. Guess what he fed him, y'all? Eggs and fish. To let him know I'm Jesus. I don't need your fish. I got my own. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. And they, that the, whatever you're getting, I don't need it. I already got it because all of it is mine. So don't buy the lie by me. While the lie is going forth, the learning is going forth on the other side. Well, so why don't people lie on you? We still growing. <laughs> why they lie on you, Don? You still cooking. You still get new equipment. You still get more orders. They say you ain't nothing, liar. But their deception is elevating you. And the floodgates are opening. The text says when I was reading this. You know, I know I'm gonna go, man, this is, I, 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 I just lose my mind in the word. I, I be like, God, you bad. It said he grieved for over 20 years. He grieved for over 20 years off a lie. Some of you can't get your grip on God. Because you're grieving the lie your mama told you. My God. He said, why you so, why you so like you are? Huh, let me tell you why. Let me tell you why I'm like I am. Because everybody said I wasn't going to make it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they said, oh, you ain't going to make it. I said, you a lie. Them teachers said, let me, let me tell them teachers said I wasn't going to make it. She said, I went to school with me. I was a clown. I graduated number 10 out of 360. 
not in the top 10%. I was number 10 out of 360, which means I was in the top 1%. I got a way of here. I got a sense of humor. So I graduated from high school. Number 10. Went to prayers you know the party city? I graduated from that too. With 3.9 out of 4.0. I just dumbed it down. Talk over your head, I'll lose you. So I'll speak to your level and bring you to my level. So then I go back to high school. Somebody say back to high school. I know y'all looking at me crazy. See, when I know what I know, I don't care what you think. I go back to high school and say, come speak to the class. I say, y'all, let me tell you how good God is. This woman, Miss Johnson, didn't like me. Now I'm speaking to her class. She said I wasn't going to make it. Now I'm, 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 I'm passing the church around the corner. I graduated high school and college and working on my master's. I got that too. I ain't had a job since 96. You ought to listen to me. I don't clock in for nobody. I've, I've always made my way. I made my money. Not did nobody give me that. I didn't go walk in and do what they said. I went, did what God told me to do to create what I, because they said I couldn't make it. Then I got mad at y'all. Because I'm like, they ain't listening to me. They ain't doing business with me. They won't do nothing. He said, now, just ask the people to start a business and stand up. Five or six businesses stood up from people starting their business during the pandemic. So why they're not, they not listening to you, they're listening to you. All right. He's done it. You just got to wait. You, li- listen, listen. Do you know? Do you know? People in high places call me stress manager. Oh y'all miss it. See if I'd have listened to y'all, if I'd have listened to the people, they still said it. They're saying it now. God say, but while they're lying, you're learning to trust me. Y'all helping me. Don't even know you're helping me. See, that's what I'm telling you. When people deceive and deception shows up, you got to take that because it pushes you. Right back in his will, right where you need to be so God gets the glory. These are the steps. I'm a preacher, but he said, my God, Rem, I done preached that sermon. That pastor, a lot of times, I ain't see that. And I said, because he wanted for you to see yet. Well, well. You can use it now. You, you, you. Can I get your notes? I said, ain't got none. Go on, get the, go on, get the audio and listen. Put what you want out of it. I write down facts that I want to remember, but when I get through preparing, I said, now, God, here I am. Talk to your people. Come on. That's why you can't say what I'm finna say, because I don't know what I'm finna say. <laughs> and it might be like, whoo, I ain't never, where'd that come from, him? Because, see, he knows your prayers. Here I come. He knows your prayers. He knows what you need to hear. And somewhere in this sermon, you'll get a line that say, that gummy, that's my point right there. I, I got what I need. I got what I got what I needed. Thank you for your life. <laughs> you know what you need to call your friends? Girl, I, I sure appreciate it. Thank you. Mm, you already right, me. All them lies you told on me, I sure appreciate it. Because <laughs> I see God like I never saw him before. See, see you want to trust God. You want to trick the devil. You want to mess him up. Don't get discouraged when you hear, I'm going to trust God. Don't get discouraged. See, you want to trick the devil. You want to mess him up. Don't get discouraged when you hear people talking about You know what you're saying? Girl, right on. <laughs> Girl, give me a hug. I sure appreciate you. You know, you need to hug. I'm talking about, thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to your name, Father. 
that God will use you to bless me. Ah, what the devil meant for evil, God turned around and used it for my good and for his. What I'm trying to do is put some skin on your back. I'm trying to thicken your skin. I'm trying to, I'm tired of you being these little old quiet Christians, these little old, what's that BK? I'm, I'm, I'm God, you know, I'm tired of you being these wimps because she was deceived. Yeah. That my classmate that got that got counseled, she's still here. Yeah. Done had four, five, six, seven brain surgeries, and she's still yeah. just had a brain surgery. Do you understand what I'm saying? If she to believe the lies, she wouldn't have the faith. And if she didn't have the faith, she wouldn't be here today. Every time somebody said it wasn't going to happen, God say, okay, I'm going to show you. Every time they said this is the last time she's going to be in the hospital, oh, you're going to pass away, God said, okay, let me show you. What I'm trying to tell you, would the people come and deceive you with lies? That's your learning period to show you that God is who he say he is. I'm looking at this wrong. He, he said, you ain't looking at it right. I need you to look at this right. I need you to see me. It's bad. That's okay. But it's going to be for my your good and my I know, see, see, oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. I couldn't do what Bridget do. That's why he didn't get that to me. Some of you mad because you got your struggle. God knew you can handle the struggle. Ooh. Some of you got to understand that the road God has you on is the road God know you can handle. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. always been beautiful. Always. Man, that girl smile. You see, comes down now with teaching them out. But you don't know what's behind that smile. Yeah, yeah. The enemy say, you finna die. Yeah, God say, no, you ain't. Yeah. At least not yet. Because there are some people, hear me, there are some people that are going to live because you still here. Yeah. My ain't margin needed too long. She said, baby, they call him and tell him I ain't going to make it. I said, ain't you going to make it? She said, why are you so confident? Your husband done got say You think God ain't going to let you see some of that? She said, well, amen. Amen means I agree, right? Yeah. When she said amen, she got a call. Uh -huh. Little old young person done died. She got two long. I said, unk, you in trouble. I said, she got some scrimp. Now she can breathe. You've been winning because she couldn't breathe, but when she breathe on you, you in trouble. Oh, young love, when she in hell, I mean, she's sucking up the city. Do you know what I'm saying, um? And you got them old love, but you over there <laughs> patting. But she got to see her husband growing God. She, she prayed for 40 years for that. You tell me what God won't do. Y'all better pay attention to what's happening. She buried him. There wasn't nothing wrong with him. It was wrong with her. Tell me God ain't bad. Ain't easy. You know what? I'm going to let you see him transition from here to here. I gotta go to no book. I can look around this church. Yeah. Well, yeah. and see how sovereign God really is. Yeah. Cause ain't you glad you ain't where you used to be? Yeah. Oh, come on, somebody talk to me. I ain't where I need to be, but I show sure ain't where. I, hey, can I have anybody to testify with me? I'm still learning, but I thank God I ain't learning from way back there. 
At least I'm running halfway through the life. I done came above and stepped up on some things. God, I, I got some issues, but they ain't back down. Tell the devil to go to hell. Say, go to hell. Satan. You done lost, Bubba. You know why I told you to say that? Here I come. You ready? Come on. Even if you bought the lie. Come on. Even if you chewing on that lie right now. You don't believe you the head and not the tail. You don't believe you blessed going in and blessed coming out. I'm here to tell you to hold on to God's unchanging hand. Deception is part of it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why we celebrate each because he changed the game, Bubba. But look at when he died. They lied on him the whole time. They lied about Jesus the whole way. Right. How, how, how can you be the son of man? That, 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 that blasphemy. And you think you're going through, ain't nobody, ain't nobody spit on you. They just talk. You couldn't handle the spit, that's why you won't let them spit. He said, because I got to find somebody that's going to go all the way. Right. Ooh, y'all ain't hear me. I, 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 I got to find somebody to die. It's going to get bad. I need to find somebody that'll go all the way for me. Y'all folding like card tables. I can't use you. See, you shouldn't be folding because Jesus didn't fold. Am I in this place? You want to go and go do whatever you need to go to because Jesus, our example, our redeemer, did not fold when it got tough. As a matter of fact, he never said a mumbling word. That's why I tell people, you ain't got to talk because people talking. You ain't got to defend. You don't have to defend the truth. They ain't going to believe that. Hey, just hush. Quit stooping to their level. My God. See, it's only an issue when you open your mouth. It's speculation when you keep your mouth closed. Shut up, boo. I don't care what they doing. I don't care what they saying. If Jesus can do it, I can do it. Now, I'm not saying it's easy. Because you know me, I got a mile. And when I speak, I'm going to speak true because I know all your business. See, when you speak, you speculate no lie, but I know truth. Watch this. So he says, shut up. He never, so he didn't say nothing. He was 100% God and 100% man. And he didn't say nothing. When you read the text, he said the angels were standing on tiptoe around heaven just waiting ain't caring for him to say anything. We sitting right here, boy. You know, you bad. You know, I be telling him I got my goons. My goons ready. They should have. Pastor, just say the word. Just say the word. Just the word. You, you, and that was a woman with a bad eye. That's where them angels come. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get him. Ooh. He doing that to Jesus. He doing that to my. Oh, I'm a God. G Listen, hey man, say something, please. Please say something. You know what Jesus said? Father, forgive him. 
wait a minute, wait a minute. They done, they done spit on him. They done beat him. See, because he wasn't deceived. He stood on what did daddy say? Come on. See, daddy told him this wasn't going to be easy. Daddy told him this was going to be probably the hardest thing you ever do in your life. He said, I'm going to tell you something. You're going to have to call on me. It's going to be so hard, Bridget, you can't even look at you. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Lord. Let me come down here and speak. It's going to be so tough, Bridget. It's going to hurt so bad. All you can do is call my name. Yep. And while them doctors are operating on you, they're saying, Lord, have mercy. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you. See them been through those many surgeries and still standing. Because there are some physicians that don't believe God is real. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. There are some physicians that don't believe God is real. But I'm going to put life in this girl's body. I'm going to give her me. I'm going to let her focus on me. So when they cut on her, they don't see her, but they see me. There's family members that don't believe in God. And when they see her still standing, coming in after surgery, after surgery, after surgery, after surgery, you know what family going to start saying? Now, wait a minute. There has to be a real God somewhere because God is still working on the life of my mama, on the life of my sister. Bridget, some of our classmates don't know him, but when every time they see you smiling and you type BK strong, what you're telling them that God says, I get to live a little while longer. I'm trying to help somebody here today. When they nailed his hands, they ribbed his feet. They hung him between the earth and the sky. The Bible says, and he died. Help me say he died. Till it got midnight in the middle of the day. He died. Help me say he died. To a centurion soldier looked up and said, Surely, surely, surely. This must be the Son of God. He died to the whole world. Began to reel that rock. Ain't God all right? They took him off the grave, out of, out, of, out the cross, laid him in the grave. Stayed right there all night Friday. Stayed right there all day Sunday. In spite of all the deception, in spite of all the haters, in spite of all the envy, in spite of all the violence, in spite of all of the deception, he stayed right there all night Saturday, all day Saturday, all night Saturday night. But hold up, wait a minute. Let me put some Holy Ghost in it. Let me say early, early, say it like you mean it, early, Sunday morning, he got up with all power, ain't God all right, say yeah, 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 oh, yeah. Won't he, won't he, won't he do it? He may not come when you want him, but he's always on time. Steps to greatness. <sighs> Steps to greatness. Haters gonna come. Envy will rise. Violence will show up. Deception will be present. But God, the, same, the, the Bible says, my God shall supply all my needs according 
to his riches and glory which he owns in Christ Jesus. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. When we look at this word, man, God don't leave no stone unturned, BK. God is God all by himself. You're grieving. You don't even know why. That that they said was, wasn't. That that they say is, ain't. You need to know God got you. And that's why he say what the devil meant for evil. Let me tell you something. He didn't create lies. He didn't, he didn't endorse lies. He just keep being who he is. Yeah, yeah. He'll make it fit. He'll use it. So he can set you free. Let me show you how bad God is. He, he, walked, he walked the sermon in. He'll walk a BK in. He'll walk you in. There's some things that only you know what you're dealing with. Right. There's some days you come in here you want to throw in the towel. Life is not going the way you think it should go. But, see the word but means it counsels out of everything you think. Oh, God. So every thought you had, it, when you say but, you just, so you got to, the Bible says rip out them strongholds. You got to. You got to rip them thoughts out of your mind. You got to rip them crazy feelings out of your mind. Didn't do what God said. Think on these things. Whatsoever is pure, whatsoever is kind, whatsoever is loving, whatsoever is, is good. Think on these things. I've done enough to give you something to think about. Quit looking at what you're going through and look at what I'm bringing you through. I want to be great. Well, shut up. Don't, don't freak out when haters come. Don't you trip out when they envy you and have malice. Don't get mad when they come with violence. And really don't get mad when they lie on you. Because it's just that a lie. <laughs> Why he at home grieving. Joseph somewhere giving God glory. Yeah. While he at home want to die, Joseph somewhere living. Yeah. Look at my word. Watch how I roll. You're too ignorant to be at church this morning. So you shifted from ignorance to stupid. Ignorance means you don't know. Stupid means you know and ain't do it. So you don't got stupid on me. Ugh. Stupid is and stupid does. You're doing stupid things because you're not doing what you know you're supposed to do. The Bible says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not in all your ways, and I shall. Spiritual. Don't he slay me? Lord is the light of my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. And whom shall I be afraid? When my wicked friends and they come against me, they stumble and they You can't touch them. No weapon. It's for me. 
coming, but it ain't going nowhere. See, you're supposed to be excited. You're supposed to be laughing. You know what? You know what you're saying? You, you show sure right, God. Let not your heart be troubled. Don't worry about nothing. You believe in God, believe all the stories. In my father's house is a mini mansion. If it were not so, I'd have told you something different. Have he told you anything different? Well, stand on it. The harder, the, 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 the bigger the adversity, the bigger the victory. Listen, the bigger the struggle, the bigger the victory. How long have you been dealing with this people? Huh? Baby. Hello, everybody. I remember you, and I've been dealing with this since 2017. <laughs> I've had four brain surgeries. I just had one October the 19th. We were coming to your church for class reunion. I almost made it, but I chose the surgery and visit later for the reunion. Been going through, trying to figure out what's going on. Had surgery, like I said, on October the 19th. Class reunion was the 21st. Got my results back. They did a new gamma tau technique on my brain. It was clear. I started having issues with my right side. Did all this testing. Brain and scans and stuff came back. It's back on my left side. It's clear on my right side. I start radiation on Monday, take 10 rounds. And it's all the positive, you know, all the side effects and all the things that they're saying that's going to happen. It may happen, it may not. I don't know. I don't care. I still have all my sense. I have all my right mind. I have some memory loss due to chemical chemo fog or whatever you call it. And I'm having to help my same friends remember. So let you let you know how bad it really is that I got to help them remember and I'm having my own issues and I'm the one yes and it's, it, like I said I was diagnosed came in the door stage four brain liver lymph nodes and breast I've had surgery in 22 I had surgery 23 I had surgery 22 21 18 19 and I'm still here, and I just want to let y'all know, thanks to my classmate right here, she brought me out today because I missed church with my classmate, Dang, young, 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 young childhood friend. And I'm so glad to be here, and I did want to give this testimony. God is real. God is real. He is so real. He is so real. So real, so come on Monday. I'm soliciting your prayers to just give me strength because I am not afraid. I am not afraid of this. It does not have me and it won't take me. And I want to add to that, I asked the Lord. My daughter was 16 in high school. I asked him to let me see her graduate high school. I did that and she graduated college on the 19th of December. I had brain surgery on the 18th of October and was there at TWU and I saw my baby walk across the stage. I have a son that graduated from Howard University. I have completed, well I'm not completed because I'm not, I'm not finished, but I was able to continue to complete to see what I opted out and asked him for. You ask God, you believe him and he will deliver. And that's all I have to say, and thank you for your time. Amen, hallelujah, and God bless everybody. Yes, indeed. Bless y'all. Bless y'all. And I love you, Cheryl. I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you. Yes. Thank y'all so much for your time. I didn't mean to take it, but God said, give the word, and that is it. Believe in him, and I do. Amen. Good God of mine.
That's the God we serve. And if more believers will get excited about what God is doing in their lives and not be ashamed to say it out loud, he'll do more. He won't do. You won't let him. Why? Because you ain't telling what he's already done. Four brain surgeries. And it's back again. But God. BK, let me speak to you. Let me speak to you. We got a lady named, her name is uh, Sister Walton that goes to the church, right? She don't have lungs, but she's living. Y'all do know that. Her lungs don't work. But she's living. God has miracles and blessings for each and every one of us that believe that. All we have to do is believe it, man. She, good God, man. You think she thought she was great doing hair, and she was cold at it. But she's cold at being a witness. That, 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 that sassiness, that talking, she's always had that. She didn't know what it was for. It's for right now. So Cheryl feeling down. She just look over there and tell me, I ain't got no problem. Cheryl, I saw Cheryl. Oh, okay, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Girl, shut up. <laughs> it's, a pers- this is how it go. this is how God go. This how God go, man. This- you think you have it bad? Let me let me send someone that want to. Uh oh, you missed it. She want to be here. You get to be here. See, when you want to be here, you hear. When you just come to hang out, you miss a lot of stuff. A lot of you missing because you just hear out of from out of the, out of the religious act. You got to get serious because this may be your last time. We don't know. The doors of the church, there may be somebody here that don't know Jesus, that that won't accept Jesus as their personal Savior, that want to come home, that want to repent, that want to do whatever they need to do. If you here come, while they they give us a little music, come while the blood is yet running warm in your back. It's all He has washed all of my sins away. Jesus' love bubbles over in my soul. Just bubbles over Jesus' love. It bubbles over Jesus' love. It bubbles over Jesus' love. Glory to God. Bubbles over Jesus love oh, over in my soul. Amen. Let's give the Lord a hand clap for prayer. Oh, we can do better than that. Let's give the Lord a hand clap for prayer. 
Amen. It's offering time. Amen. Let's let's sow into this word we just got. Amen. What a word. What a word. What a word. Oh my God. <sighs> Give me that. Give me that. Let me have one of those. Put this in there. Y'all come on, do what you're doing. Put this. Come and say thank you for the gifts. Bless the givers. Pray that's been useful. I've been done with your kingdom in Jesus' name. We pray, amen. Hey, excellent. You do me a favor. Been led by the Spirit. If you can, everyone in the room, pull out ten dollars. Remember my ten dollars. You want to get more, get more. If you can pull out ten dollars, pull it out for me. Uh yeah. Uh just send it to me and I'll put it in there. Where my phone, I need to make sure yours go in. <laughs> just hold it in your hand. Just pull up ten dollars. Just hold it till, till I get ready. Yeah, you got it. Bring it to me, Amen. If you got ten, bring it to me. At least ten. It can be more than ten, but at least ten, Amen. Amen. Do this for me. Amen. Amen. Okay. It's two, three, four, five. I get it. Pick that up. I got you. I got you. I hear him. Put them in there for me. Thank you. 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 You have not because you asked not. Amen. 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 Man, this me. Cash out me. Keenan Pops Tennyson. How many people is hold your hand up to cash out me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Cash out. Yeah, let me see all y'all. Y'all ready? Let me see your name on my.
while y'all still deceiving people. <laughs> Father God, we come now to thank you for this seed that we're believing you to continue to be God. You say when your word goes forth, we should sow a seed. We're sowing this seed on her faith. That you continue to use her like only you can. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. She said, she said, let me let me tell you why I asked you for 10. She said she has 10 treatments. On our faith. We stand in the gap with you, sister. You not by yourself, you not alone, and you not finna spend your money for your kids to be out there with you. We want to sow into you, baby. We love you. We love you. We love you. We love you. That hit my spirit when that girl was talking. Let her go home and let her go home and realize that she's loved. She ain't gotta be no member of this church. We just felt it in our spirit. Thank you for your obedience. Amen. Bridget been fighting a long time. What'd she say? <laughs> now nah, my goons gonna walk you to the car. Hey, my goons gonna walk you to the car. They ready. They looking for somebody to fight. That, I mean, they pitiful. Ain't nobody gonna mess with you. That's that Holy Ghost money right there, boy. Amen, 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 amen. What time is that thing start? Two o'clock? What time it start? One o'clock? Okay, one o'clock. Next Sunday, one o'clock. What how long it lasts? Two o'clock. Okay, great. Set that up for three. Uh so we're gonna we're gonna be here next Sunday for this take what's it called? Taste of soul. We need everybody to be here, okay? Now what they're gonna do, they're gonna sing some songs and have food up here for you to taste. Now let me tell you. You hungry people, son. It's a taste. It's not a meal. <laughs> As you taste the food, you're going to taste these songs. Small. The samples are small. Amen. This is something Barnett has been working on. We got to be here to support the choir. Let's, let's come back. And then when we get through... I'm gonna take my 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 widows and widower uh, to eat after we get through. You ain't lost a loved one, you can't go. Don't you be sitting there talking about <laughs> a spouse. But but for those of you that have, we haven't forgotten you. Um, this is gonna lead to a whole lot of other things. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna go from. Uh, recognizing them as widows and widowers, to having a a prayer a, a prayer meeting with them, possibly have a Bible study with them, and when it gets to the prayer and the Bible study, then the seniors can come, sixty five and over. Amen. I haven't forgot you. God gave you enough to hold you on while I get these babies up to snuff. But we're here to let you know we still see you too. Thank you yeah. for your faithfulness. Amen. Thank you for your faithfulness in spite of. Because some people can use that as an excuse to stay at home. But if you grab James 1 and 26, the, the true religion is taking care of the orphans and the widows. We take care of you orphan kids and we take care of you widows. We love you. Sister Karen Tennyson kind of heading that up. She's a widow as well. Amen. And she's been in prayer groups and all that. It's, so it's time for you to branch off and start your own. You got enough people here that want to pray. 
if they don't twist them. <laughs> so next, 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 next Sunday, we'll have the taste, and then we'll go eat. Amen. Amen. Our hearts and minds. After church, we're going to meet a few minutes with the leadership of the church. Just stay in here for a minute, and we're going to be just fine. It won't be long uh, today. Ten minutes, I promise you. I just need you to hear my heart, amen, as we move forward, preparing for Resurrection Sunday. That's not the finish line. That's the starting point. So what are we going to do to ramp up to get the people that come Easter Sunday prepared to receive, and we receive them? Amen? Our hearts and minds clear. Uh, also, uh, pray for Sister Townsend. She'll be having surgery. Taylor, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, she'll be having surgery on the 18th. Amen. Just call her name out. You'll need to be. Well, why is it? Ain't your business. Just call her name out for the 18th. Amen. Everybody bring your eggs next Sunday. Amen. Next Wednesday. Amen. For Easter, for uh, Resurrection Sunday. Some for these kids. Amen. Should tell you. Both. Do we have any uh, any guests here for the first time? I ain't seen nobody. Is this your first time here? Stand up, sweetie. How you doing? Who who you who invited you? Kim? Kim who? Oh, Lakeemia. Uh, look at her. She out there fishing. Who you? Thank you so much for coming. Y'all show a little pleasant here, love. Hey, Amen. Welcome. Y'all go back there and give a hug or something. Get them, get on back there. Run. Run. Don't you fall in them here. Amen. Let the church. Let's stand. Let the church. Let the church. Uh -oh. Let the church. Say amen. God has spoken. Father and God, we come down and say thank you for this time. Thank you for this word, this fellowship, and this worship. God, we ask that you bless Sister, Ta Sister Taylor and her surgery on the 18th. Continue to be with BK Strong. You already there, Lord. Just continue to show yourself mighty. Be with Sister Reeve. I didn't see her today. I miss her presence. Lord, we thank you for this worship service. And now may the grace of God and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit rest rule and abide hands for now and forever until we all meet again. May we all say amen. amen. Thank you, ma'am.